viewers, my name is Cookie Lebab and so is the show. We are here for Blythe Magazine, where I keep you updated on joyous, noteworthy events to start off your week. I haven't been around in a second, so I am jam-packing this episode with some amazing, noteworthy events. Today is Monday, July 5th, 2021. Let's start looking onward. First, let's look into two noteworthy events that happened during Pride that I missed. Professional NFL football player Kara Massive came out on Instagram Monday, June 22nd. In the video, he mentioned that he finally feels comfortable enough to get it off his chest. Massive is the first active football player to come out as gay. Carl Nassib also donated $100,000 to the Trevor Project for its work in LGBTQ plus suicide prevention. Also in the video, Nassib says he believes in the power of representation and disability. You can see more of the video on his Instagram channel that's attached to this video below. response to NFL professional football player Carl Nassib coming out as gay, the National Football League shared a video on Twitter announcing that football is gay. Within the video, you will see in white letters on a black background saying that football is gay, lesbian, beautiful, queer, transgender, power, and life. NFL also tweeted support for Nassib and matched the donation to the Trevor Project. The video that was posted also included statistics from the Trevor Project saying, LGBTQ plus with at least one accepting adult have 40% lower risk of attempting suicide. NFL Diversity Director Sam Rappaport told Outsports, I am proud of the clear message that this spot sends to the NFL's LGBTQ plus fans. This game is unquestionably for you. Now that it's July, let's get into some good news that we may have missed during Pride Month. Last week, an announcement was made by a U.S. biotech company called Grail that a simple blood test that they have been developing for years can now detect 50 different types of cancers and it's now accurate enough to be rolled out. Grail has already done a trial of around 3,000 people looking for small leaks of altered DNA that seep through tumors into the bloodstream. The blood test uses a type of artificial intelligence that looks for changes in DNA's methylene, which is a record of the changes often damage which DNA experienced over its lifetime and has been theorized as possibly a detector of cancer. Another trial is underway by the UK's National Health Service with 140,000 volunteers. Those results will be available in 2023. To look more into this fascinating breakthrough, a link for the published paper will be below in the descriptions of this video. Silk leaves a large environmental footprint. From the gruesome process of extracting it from silkworms to the raw material processing itself. These are some of the reasons a company starting from Oxford University began a venture to create a high-performance biodegradable textile that is 1,000 times more efficient than current methods. Spintex has succeeded by mimicking how a spider spins silk at room temperature. The company was able to by creating a process to spin textile fibers from a liquid gel. Inspiration for this to happen came from the spider's amazing ability to create silk within their spinnerets, an organ that turns liquid silk gel within the spider's abdomen into a solid thread. Currently, there are no sustainable alternatives on the market to traditional silk. Raw material processing of silk requires thousands of liters of water that must be boiled every day. So Spintex announcing on their website that they provide the only truly sustainable option silk production that can produce fiber with the quality, performance, and luster of traditional silk. 
it definitely has become an anticipating fabric for big fashion and textile brands. Some already have ongoing development projects with Spintex, but nothing is yet commercially available. That's all for now. Tune in next week and look forward to more joyous, noteworthy events. I'm Cookie LaBeth. Thank you for watching.